Okay. Let's do add colony. Okay. Now that we're logged in, let's go to file. We'll build settings. And we're going to change it to Android. If you're on iOS, you might want to switch to iOS. While that's going, we're going to download the Unity plugin. I'll leave a link in the description. Let's just go to code and let's just download it as a zip. Okay, now that that's done and we got our SDK downloaded, let's uh, go to our projects. Let's right click import package, custom package. We're going to navigate to where we downloaded the package. Add colony. There it is. So we're going to we're going to import that. Just double click it. Click import all. Now that that's done, no errors. Let's just run a play of nothing just to see if we get any errors. Okay, it's loaded. Beautiful. Oh, no. Let's wait for that. Okay, I'm just going to make a quick scene now with a few buttons. All right, guys, once we get into our project, you will see that I have the three scripts here. You will see them in the description. And basically, it's one script for banner, one script for interstitial, and one script for rewarded. Now, let's go over them really quickly. For Ad Colony, it was a little pain because you have to create a, an array. <clears throat> so this is basically for the banner. So you got a zone ID. You got to change that to your zone ID in your Ad Colony dashboard and your app ID which you also which is also at your ad colony dashboard once you do that you got to do the if application platform runtime is android and you have to do this because they will spit out an error if you don't pretty much so if you do then we create the zone ids and we configure the app we don't need any app options so we put just put null in there this is just the basic of the basics to get an app rolling. And I put this in start so that as soon as it starts, it runs the configure and start the ad view. Once the ad view is loaded, then you show the ad view, which is basically show the banner. And on ad view fail to load, it gives you an error. It failed to load. And uh, basically here, then I got okay that's if that happens and here's like i'm like no it's gonna happen so we request an ad view with the zone ids up there with the ad banner and the position i want it at the bottom with null in the options and it will automatically create options if you need to figure out what to put there you could always check this section behind the brackets and you'll see what is needed <clears throat> so that's the banner then the interstitial is pretty similar. I got a zone ID and app ID, and you pretty much do exactly the same thing, application platform if, and if that's the case, then we're going to change our IDs. You got to change these ones and these ones to your zone IDs. And unlike banner, where you just change these two IDs to yours, in interstitial, you have to change these ones too. I haven't changed it yet, so you could you could make it just like this one and only have two that you have to change. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, so it doesn't really matter. Um, besides that, it's basically the same. You configure, and I thought I only had to configure it once, but no. Since we got new zone IDs, we got to configure it again. So I configured it. Uh, Create a new interstitial ad on interstitial on request. It shows the ad. That's what I configured it to do. And on expiring, it requests an interstitial. And here we request in the start 
No, this is a public. So I put it on a button. It's not on start or else I guess <clears throat> it would probably continuously request the interstitial. Either way, it's on the button because I put it on a public void. You could put this on the start so it starts in the as soon as you load the script or whatever. And the rewarded is pretty much the same thing. Now, in terms of here, the first thing you got to do when you get to Unity is you got to right click, import package, custom package, and you got to go to where you downloaded the, I used add colony plugin, Unity plugin. Once you get the add colony Unity plugin, you import it. Where is it? I think I just did it. And then it will show up. Import all the packages and then you import your script into game objects. So I create a game object here called ads. And then I just look for the script and I drag whichever ad I want. So let's say I want the interstitial ad. I'll drag it in. Now on one of my buttons, I'll come down. I'll add a function. We'll bring over the add object into the object field there. Click on no function and it should be in my interstitial show enter more. Why enter more? Because over here, if you go to interstitial, you'll see that our public void is called enter more. So everything in enter more is going to be shown over here once you click the button. So once that's done, don't take it out. That was just a tutorial because I already have it done. Click on play. The thing is with Add Colony is you won't know if it works. So if you go to console here and I click on interstitial or rewarded, nothing happens. However, if you look at the actual once you load it into the app and you try it out, you'll see that the test ads are working just fine. And when you go to your dashboard right here, this is that same app you will see that you got some requests and impressions made on my test ads only so guys that is pretty much it for integration for unity as long as you got the scripts working fine and if you need these scripts they're all in the description um besides that you don't have to do much uh i don't think if you go here to tools add colony i know you, some people say you got to do the Android dependencies or whatever no I think that uh, does this that does it automatically in unity I believe it was 2020 or some once you hit 2020 it's pretty much all the same so remember you could combine all these scripts into one you don't have to do it like me it's very flexible um, you just need to get it working and that's what I did I got it working and you work on it after Anyways, guys, any problems, <clears throat> let me know in the comments. And uh, I think that's uh, where this one ends. Let me know. Like the, con like the video, comment, subscribe. Tell me if this worked for you. And that's it for now. I'm on Unity 2021.1.10, just in case you wanted to follow along. Um, besides that, I don't have any other add-ons installed it was just I just installed plain buttons and once you click the button it shows an interstitial and it's only I'm only on one scene so everything else is pretty much the same anyways guys let me know in the comments if you have any problems that's it for this one Ad colony is done wrapped up next Facebook till the next one cheers Thank you.